So I'm going to update my car's nav system from Kia. You can update. I'm going to unplug any USB accessories. Be sure that nothing is causing an issue with it. Sirius, since I got somehow an update with Sirius, occasionally I get it's always downloading and not wanting to connect up. I used to get a different logo here with the picture of like the album cover or the channel. That's no longer there. But uh, my navigation goes back to 2013, 2014, around there. So hopefully it will uh, have more navigation, more information, and be able to do more. I'm hoping for Apple CarPlay as well. All right, so you want to go to Kia first and download to an SD card. It has to be 32 gigabytes. Can't be any more, any less. Um, didn't seem to make the marker stick on there. Anyway, your SD card slot is right here and use your finger now to pop it out. And they want you to leave your car running, believe it or not. And then you can pop it out. SD card must be inserted. Navigate right uh, can you go to all menus and get in there for an update? Let's see. Mm. It can go there, system information. This is where I think you want to update and stick the chippy in. Okay. Well, and they also want you to leave your car running. So it takes about 30 minutes. It would be nice to see some display action. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, I'm back to music. Okay, I agree. All menus again. Slide up. Set up. System information. Update. Insert the media memory. Press OK. Well, we've already put it in, so upgrade OK. And they said this takes quite a bit of time. 30 minutes, I think they said. So we can time it. 10.46. All right. I'm going to stop the video, and we'll come back to it a bit. All right, it's running right now and doing its uh, updating. Takes a while. We're at 10.55 now. So uh, we'll continue to let it run and do its thing. At least the car is nice and warm now. come back to it a bit so it's uh reloading something here I recommend not doing anything until it comes back up as a working unit it might take a while again we're at 11 o'clock now so it's been about 15 minutes In fact, you get this little note coming up now. So it might go through this several times before it's fully done. You notice the one of two there, so more than likely there's another uh, segment that it has to load. Just be patient. Really should have cleaned the car before doing this video, but anyway. 
Notice it's two or two now. So as soon as its update is complete, the system will restart again. Don't bother, just leave it alone. We'll see what happens. Looks like it's gonna reboot now. Confirm. Radio media off. 11.05 in time is right. Now if we turn the radio on. .reputationdefender.com or call 800 back to my serious XM app. groundbreaking interviews amazing in show moments behind the scenes footage so it didn't change the appearance of the logo here I was hoping that might change how about media I may call XM okay hit media again This looks a little different. Apple CarPlay, that wasn't there before. So let's go there. Not letting me go there. Maybe it's still there. So I do notice a different series of numbers here. A little different layout too. So it might be updated now. I think so. It's got the correct date and time. I didn't know you could. Oh, that is on. All right. We'll go back to media. I don't know how to get the CarPlay to work. Maybe it'd take time? I don't know. So we're on XM. But nothing has changed on that logo used to be the Blends logo, or whatever I'd go to. The spa, I would have a spa logo. Deep Tracks would have a Deep Tracks logo. Yeah, I don't know. I may have to contact XM and ask him what's going on here. Also, with the Navi before, I had issues with XM. I had, um, road maps with you know what's what's the traffic like kind of thing reports all right so i ended up hooking up my apple iphone to its uh, cable and notice this came about so can we hit that yeah and now we've got i can do my ways and i can do phone calls Okay, so now I got this menu here, and I can do the messaging, music, don't know what Kia does, uh, just goes back to a Kia menu, huh? my menu, no, go back to Apple CarPlay, go messages, hey, there's messages. So what I noticed is if you unplug the lightning cable, it won't work anymore. So to use the Apple CarPlay, you constantly have to be plugged in to the phone. I just plugged it in. Let's see if it comes about now. Yeah, maybe because it's already playing something. And it still isn't part of it. Hmm. So if you don't use an official good lightning cable that you got with your phone, it doesn't always like to connect up. 
So be sure to use an official one that you got with the phone in good shape. And this one is getting kind of cracked on the connector, but it's still the original one. So if you plug it in, it will automatically connect to the system and put you into CarPlay mode. That's all there is to it. It works well. Some people complain about the screen looks lighter. I kind of agree with that. It does look lighter. But it's nice for the messaging. It seems to work well for that screen. And so we'll let you video while you're connected. It will in some cases. When you go to an app, it changes and stops the video like what happened a while ago. So anyway, I think you've got everything you need. Try the update. Again, this is a 2015 Kia Soul Exclaim that has all the options on it except for stop start, which I'm glad it doesn't have that. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video or it gave you the information needed. I'm not a professional, just like having good notes. Go to your uh, Google. I use DuckDuckGo. I like DuckDuckGo. Anyway, not paid from them, just my favorite because they don't track you. Anyway, um, type in the Kia map update and do a search on it, and you'll end up uh, on this page. You want to do the navigate updater and go through it. That's got an update guide. Anyway, uh, just start and click away, and you come up with PC and follow instructions. It's real simple, you know, Windows. Uh, again, you got to have a 32 gigabyte SD card, you know, the one that's like in the car. This is the one I had before. It's only 16, but you'll need the, the newer one and uh, download it to your computer, then send it over to the SD card and then put the SD card in the car. And uh, in the end, I ended up getting uh, my XM radio stuff fixed. So... I now have the logos and pictures I wanted. All right, not a pro at this, just took notes and wanted to share it with you. Thanks and uh, good luck on yours. Well, the good news after doing the update, I went into XM and sent a fresh signal. Now I get my logos back that have the graphics that I couldn't get. Even when I refreshed and refreshed and refreshed. And so XM told me, you know, and I think your car radio is old, you got to replace it. Yeah, bogus. Wasn't going to do that, but I looked in the update and did the update. And that took care of the issue with the missing logo information on the screen. So now I've got those. Deep tracks. Turbo. Well, that one hadn't updated yet, but that's what it's doing. It's updating that information. And speaker glow mood setting it's called. I don't really care for it. I also don't like the, the lights underneath the area here. I tend to turn that off all the time. The way it goes. And then the music mode you can turn off and it goes away anyway will this helped me glad I did the update it was practically an all day adventure with me because I had to go get a disc card, SD card I mean and uh, format it and go through it and I didn't buy the right one first time, second time, anyway <laughs> it just took time but never do things in a rush if you want to do it right, okay one thing I forgot to tell you, I did go to my XM account and did the uh, refresh my radio. That uh, helped update it to where it needed to be. All right.